Hi guys, this is Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, new game that I've been playing a lot of. I know a lot of other people have been playing it, but I wanted to show my Steam Controller settings that I've been enjoying this game with. Um, this game is really, really satisfying to play with this controller. Uh, it's made by Respawn Entertainment, the ones that made Titanfall, Apex Legends, uh, Titanfall 2 was actually one of my favorite games on the Steam Controller because it just works so well. Uh, main reason I'd say it works so well is because it's one of the few games that allows gamepad and keyboard and mouse controls to just work simultaneously. Um, I wish more games did it. It would be a really great thing. That means you could you could have like a gamepad on your left hand using the left stick to move around with analog movement and then you could have your right hand using a mouse uh, to move the mouse for better aiming. Um, you could play like that with a mouse and keyboard and a controller. Or for this team controller, you can have keyboard and mouse control in some parts and also have the joystick move like a gamepad. And then it still works perfectly without stuttering or causing issues with the game. The only problem is that the game uh, swaps the prompts around could could cause uh, that could cause stutters too in some games but in this game it switches the prompts but it doesn't cause any issues with how the game is running how the frames are being uh, delivered it doesn't stutter or anything like that so it works pretty much perfectly the only issue you have is sometimes you walk up to something after moving the mouse and you'll see the E button prompt instead of the controller one but it's super easy to deal with you just move the left stick and you'll have the gamepad prompt uh, because my controls are essentially all the normal gamepad prompts with just a couple exceptions uh, I have mouse on the right touchpad the reason I do that is because I tried mouse joystick it actually works pretty well in this game but uh, if you're like me it's just not the same as mouse control mouse control just feels better to me just slightly better um, like mouse joystick is pretty close but doesn't feel the same so I prefer mouse so I put that on the right touchpad uh, have my sensitivity bumped up a little bit uh, friction for the trackball is medium with trackball mode on and then I have high haptics that's how I always like to play with the high haptics on and then everything in the advanced section is just at the defaults like I didn't make too many crazy changes with this game but the changes that I did make really have like improved how I feel about this game since I started it um, at first I had attack and blocking and all that on the defaults but I wasn't really liking it too much that way so I changed it I have blocking on my left grip for deflecting the reason I do that is because I was playing a lot of Sekiro earlier this year, and that's how I set it up. Uh, it's also something I've messed with with Dark Souls, uh, but I like having it on the left grip to block. Uh, so that's how I have it set up. And then the right grip is for my dodging. Uh, this just makes me able to react in combat much quicker than having to press the bumpers in, which can be a little harder to press. The grips are just so much easier to press and natural to press. I always love to have them for movement options or important combat things like blocking in this game is pretty much the most important thing you could do besides dodge. So I have those on the grips. That's how I have it set up. I made some changes in the game bindings though, which you would have to follow if you want to use my setup and play it exactly how I'm playing it right now. Um, my changes just have to do with a few things. The attack, the blocking is all different, uh, which is pretty cool in this game. You can edit the gamepad bindings, just like key bindings. So it actually has input rem remapping inside the game, which is really cool. Um, my first change was with the attack. I put it on the right bumper because like I said I was playing Sekiro a lot and they had it on the right bumper and I got used to it and really liked it there so I made it right bumper for this game so that it feels like that game uh, and it feels pretty good I like it there um, 
and I liked it on the, the right side of the controller because the right trigger is already defaulted to the strong attack so I like to have the light attack on the right bumper it just makes sense um, the X button was the default for attacking but since I changed that to RB I changed um, my parry block to X since I knew I wasn't going to be using the X button for attacking I wasn't going to be using the X button at all really in the normal way because I wanted to be on the left grip but since the end game uh, bindings don't know anything about Steam Controller's grips. I just set it to X, um, and I knew that left bumper would be used for something else later instead of parry and block, so I just replaced it with the X. Jumping is normal on A. I think that's not that important, that it's fine that I can reach over and press A. B, I left the same for evade, but the important part is that I put it on the right grip there. Uh, but I left the end game binding the same. Force attack is the same with the right trigger. Targeting is the same by clicking on the right touchpad. You'll target. All the D-pad stuff is the same. Um, the first big change is sprinting. I don't really enjoy having sprint on the left on the joystick click, left joystick or just joystick click on this controller. It's not something I like too much. My thumb starts hurting, so I just unbound it completely. Actually. And I used the left shift key binding in my controller configuration for sprinting. So I put it on the same button as dodging. So there's a regular press. When you tap it, you'll do your dodges. Um, and then you long press, will just start running. So this works a lot like Sekiro or Dark Souls, which is how they normally have it set up in those games, where you just tap it to dodge. And if you hold it down, you'll start sprinting. Uh, it feels just like that. It feels very natural with this setup. So that's how I've been playing the game. Uh, but by default in this game, they had dodge and sprinting on different buttons. Dodging is on B, and sprinting you had to click in the joystick. I just put it on the same button here, so it's a lot more intuitive to have those movement uh, abilities on the same button and on the right grip. So I really like that there. There's probably a few other things I wanted to show in here. Uh, so I just left that unbound because I wanted to use the joystick click for something else. Uh, the, all the D-pad stuff is the same. Slow is what I ended up putting on the left bumper, so it's for force ability. Slow them down is on the left bumper. Pushing is what I wanted to use the joystick click for, so left stick click there is for the force push. And it feels pretty good. I really like just walking up and then clicking in the stick to push people. It works really well. And then pull is on the left trigger. I believe that is the default. I think. Actually, it might not be the default. So pull is on the left trigger. Uh, the reason I did this is I thought it would be very intuitive for my brain to have all the force abilities on the left side of the controller and all my lightsaber attacks on the right side. So I have slow on left bumper, pulling on the left trigger, and then the left stick, left side of the controller is where you push, so you click that in. And then right bumper is for the attacking, and right trigger is for the force attacks. So very uh, easy to understand for me, and I really like these controls. Uh, so if you wanted to try out my settings, I suggest you change all these in-game controls as well, or else my setup will probably not work nearly as well with the default bindings in the game. So that's how I have it set up. Uh, I can show a little bit of gameplay to show it off. Um, the grip button just makes it so much easier to deflect. Um, dodging is so much easier by using the grip. Like that. It's so much easier to react. This game is all about just making the right move. I'm on the hardest difficulty there. If you get hit, you'll take a lot of damage. So it's very important, like I said, to actually land your deflex, land your dodges. Because I'll die really fast if I don't. Here. Okay, this game 
feels very natural to play. Oh, and there's one other thing I wanted to show that's great about this game, and was also great about Titanfall 2, because it allows for simultaneous gamepad and keyboard and mouse. You can turn on this controller experimental rumble in the Steam settings. So you can turn this on, put it on high, put it on extra high or anything else, set it there, and it'll actually work properly because it works when you have gamepad bindings, but if you have keyboard and mouse, it won't really work. So on most games that I use mouse for aiming, it just doesn't work. But in this game it does work, so I'm getting all the vibration when running around here, when hitting people, when using my force abilities, the controller vibrates just like the Xbox controller or PS4 would. Uh, it just feels great to play um, while still having this better camera control due to the mouse. Um, it's just a really good, really enjoyable game. I'm gonna share my setup here to this community page, if anyone could even find it there. Um, since I have the game through Origin, I think I have the name correct um, to match up with the Steam page, but I don't see any community bindings. But if you do see it, look for the one by Red, that's my username, you'll find it in there. I'll also just link the configuration in the video description if you want to try this out. You just apply it to your controller, and then do those in-game setting changes that I showed and you'll be playing it just like this and I swear it's a lot more comfortable than the default controls. Uh, definitely recommend it. Uh, also don't forget to turn on this vibration, it just makes it a lot more immersive to have the rumble actually working. So don't forget that. Uh, thanks for watching the video.